Oh my god, by the name of Jacob Carter Smith, um, my stage name is Young Classic, and um, I'm a rapper, a, a singer, a producer, a Liberian artist also. Um, my parents from Grand Bass are kind of both for them, um, so I'm a Brazilian by dialects. Yeah, so far. I started doing music like way back, way, way back when I was young in arts, like uh, elementary school. Um, I think 1997, when um, Tupac passed, 1996, my uncle always used to talk about him and then we listen to his songs on radio and um, that's where I start falling in love with rap music and I used to watch Michael Jackson too. So sometimes I'll be singing along to buy song, I'll be rapping along. So I think from that point, I knew that I was built for music and born to do music and I started doing the music too. Yeah, um, just listening to music and then um, listening more to music and keep following it, I think that's, that's, that's where I started. Say you the care I would die for Many people talk young and I think it But I don't care what they thinking But I want it to care of me Um, I, I was always a, I was always around producers, and, you know, like the like of Infectious Michael from Happy Records, um, the late Quincy B. I was always in the studio, and um, a fast thing in person, I said to myself that I need to learn how to produce because one day, like one day, when the people ain't producing me anymore, I think I'd be able to produce myself and other people, and most especially, I want to help people to grow through the music. So I think it was a good idea to learn how to produce and to help people in a nearby future. Um, I'm not limited. I'm not limited at all. My spirit, my spirits are all of spirit. So I do all general music and um, I don't want to, I don't want to be like, oh, I don't know this. I don't know that. I don't know this. I don't know that. So I push myself harder to do all music. I do Afro beats. I do rap. I do a little bit of singing, I do club house, I do them out some calling my favorite. I do funk music. Just I just do music, I tell them good at music. You won't come by my blessing and step on it, boy. Jack coming and coming. Someone and hungry and gapping, they even get money for carry and coming. The time I was suffering and struggling, I thought you were bluffing and now you won't join me. Telling me say you get money to rap it, you want me to follow your copy. I'll be there for my real niggas. Um it's difficult to come on your own, it's difficult to be a rapper, single, the same time writer. So, my country is, is, is way down when it comes to music, but I think I don't want to be so negative. I'm staying on the positive side till we grow it and gradually we're going to be there. So, I think the challenges is there and everywhere, but I think if we work, it can be eliminated. Um, yeah, I said my pain. Like, my pain is one, one thing that, that really inspired me to do music because coming up, I had I had a whole lot of twists and turns, you know, let down, fall, rises, and so I think my pain is one thing that pushed me and inspired me to do music. Yeah, I did my first song way back in um, 2004, 2005, between that and Ghana, you know. Just doing freestyle battle and then I, I said I think it's time for me to hit the studio to test my ability in the book. So 2004 is where I did my first mission we call L.I.P. You already know your boy classic, right? <clears throat> you already know your boy classic, right? But I don't care what um, I want to see a better, a better library, you know, a better library when it when it comes to entertainment. I want, I want in history when they when they mention Liberia, I think musically or musically we should be one of the country that people will look up to for music, you know, when it comes to entertainment in the world. Um, all my songs are my favorite songs. I don't differentiate through my music. I don't. 
try to make one less important because I put my all, I put my spirit, my soul in my music, so everything is. Oh, my favorite artist in the world is my, like in the world is my mentor, Lil Wayne. He's he's really he's really one person I look up to when it comes to music. Since I started watching Lil Wayne and listening to his music, I I've never been the same when it comes to music and. I think he's my mentor and I look up to him, my favorite artist. But I don't care what they thinking, all I want it to carry me, carry me, carry me. Um, you know, in a fast forward world and um, it's not where you, you, you do little thing or you order that no more. Um, you just go to the social media and I got, I got my pages, you go to Goku. Like just for in Y U N G C L A S S I C, I'm gonna be the first artist in the world you're gonna see that come out. And you go to my Facebook page, um, Young Classic. Um, you go to Instagram, Young Classic Real. You go to YouTube, um, Audio Mac, just for Young Classic. And my songs and my videos gonna pop up. Um, in life, you know, they, they get a saying that no, no man's an island. So I think. We all need somebody. So I'm done and humble to work with record labels, artists, producers, rappers, singers. I'm down. So I'm willing to partner with anybody that wants to grow. Biggie want our fresh I was staying at Troy and I was getting. Why be the flat to hell about? All of my jelly calabar. Be that be that be on Palala. Take my booty for Salala. Leave my name me a tire. Put my coach me a on fire. Um, like I said earlier on, um, we, we're going to tell world country, you know, everything's slow, the government not paying uh, attention to entertainment, and there's no uh, good investment being made, so I think we, we, we are way more, more down when it comes to um, development in the entertainment sector, but I think, yeah, I will always say to the world that, um, the downfall of a man, not the end of the life. So gradually we will bounce back and come out with just the investment. I think investment is the key, and that's the bigger. For my fans, I, I just want to tell them I love them. Keep supporting classic music, classic gang. You already know, and um, I just wanted to to be be inspired by my music. You know, the certain thing that. I'm just in it just because I want the money or the fame. I just want to inspire people. If you truly my fan, I want you to be inspired and extended. And um, I want to appreciate a few people along the journey, in fact, just Michael. Um, shout out to my late brother family, Quincy Burroughs, AKA Quincy B. They've been there for me. And I want to thank uh, Mr. Capo, David Capo, for coming down from the United States to spot a great talent within Liberia and for having me interview and to explore my talent through the work. I love my fans and um, I love everybody. Peace out.